the Raspberry Pi organization, I one of the top five greatest companies, innovative companies, really interesting companies doing things today. Uh, they Today, they just released this, which is the Ras new version of the oh, Raspberry Pi. You said Pi. you had the, this. Yeah. Yeah, this is the, I've, I have an advanced version of this. This is the Raspberry Pi W, which is the, uh, <laughs> let me just say, it, this, is a, this is a single core computer running Linux uh, that has uh, USB, it has uh, wireless Bluetooth, it has Wi-Fi, it has a camera connector, and it also has HDMI out directly from the board itself. It's powered by any uh, any uh, micro USB connector power, including battery. Uh, it also has a GPIO header so that you can wire in switches, sensors, uh, anything, uh, power, anything you want. Ten bucks. Ten freaking bucks for what you can run a desktop operating system that runs the Chrome browser, uh, Chromium browser on. Uh, it is so cool. Uh, it's, uh, it's everything that I usually rant about uh, the Raspberry Pi is also true of this. It's not as powerful as the main uh, Raspberry Pi 3 uh, that came out last year, uh, but it adds the – by adding wireless to the Raspberry Pi 0, it – takes away a little bit of the complexity you had to add to the Raspberry Pi Zero in order to make it a little bit more useful. So essentially, I can put it inside. This is the, They also commissioned designers to come up with this really cool like little like stick of gum sort of case for it. But the idea is that you can just basically uh, install whatever operating system you want or even a media server onto this little card and then just put this in your bag. And so anytime you need a desktop computer, you can just uh, actually have this running. You can even run it, uh, run a VNC on it so that you can just, anytime you need, like on your iPad, something akin to a desktop operating system that can take SD cards, use hard drives, connect to servers, anything, you can just plug this into like your battery, your, your phone battery uh, charger, uh, and then just basically connect to it over Wi-Fi via VNC and have a perfect like uh, Debian, uh, Debian Linux uh, desktop running in a window on your iPad. Or you can decide to uh, take your uh, take your Wally action figure and <laughs> install this board inside and by running wires from this GPIO to the basic circuitry inside uh, inside Eve, make it a network addressable, <laughs> network controllable version of this doll. Or if you wanted to take an old camera and turn it into a, like a, a, a 1950s Kodak Brownie camera and turn it into uh, a brand new uh, digital camera, you could hollow out the insides, put this in a camera inside it and create your own software for it. Or if you wanted to have a weather station, you can just put this 10 freaking bucks. So basically put it outside, put it underneath a flower pot, with a, little, with a couple of wires sticking out of it that will have temperature sensors on it. And now you can basically pull this little device that's running 24-7, doing nothing but finding weather data and posting it uh, to a little web server that's running on itself. Yeah. There's so many things you can do with it. You just buy this and have it and you play with it. I'm going to tell you that uh, uh, it's uh, these things go well, – as soon as they introduce a brand new product, you can't buy them anywhere. They already sold out their first, uh, their first shipments uh, today, uh, and there's a long, long wait list. It, the only way you can buy one is you, if you buy like a packet, the a company that's putting this together with like you get cables and you get breadboards and stuff for $90 instead of just the $10 thing. It has been all I can do to not like wire this into a couple of different projects because it's the only one I have. and It's the only one I'm going to have for several weeks. Uh, it's like it, it, the, the amount of creativity, the amount of excitement that – uh, no other computer has created this level of like, oh, my God, all the things I can do with this, all the things I didn't want to do with a computer before, but now I want to do this, uh, have been created with the Raspberry Pi. So, and they, they just keep finding ways to make this, the Raspberry Pi, more and more awesome to more and more people, make it more and more affordable. This is 10 freaking dollars. It's just amazing. buy it. You'll and have I, fun Now, with does it. that include the case? Because I really like the uh, the little case. The you case is pretty it. awesome. Um, it's yeah. uh, I, that doesn't include the case. The case is extra. Actually, I don't know what the, Get the case, case goes for. Because that is really but that. sweet. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. You put it back in there. But yeah, it also it, it has the Look great thing is the case comes with the the case comes with uh, like a whole bunch of different sets of cutouts. So this is <laughs> this is what you would have if you were trying to run it as a media server. It's like pretty much tied up. Uh, it has cutouts for all the different ports in there. Uh, they also have uh, a version that has. A cutout for the camera lens. If you're putting it with putting it together with uh, the Pi, uh, the standard like uh, Raspberry Pi camera, 
Uh, and uh, they also have one that has the GPIO header cut out. So if you want to basically plug a ribbon cable into it, that'll work uh, great too. So again, as, as soon as, as it was, I, I felt as though it would be wrong because I had advanced knowledge of like who was going to be selling it and when it was going to be available. I, I was like, what if I just stay up and just have have bookmarks to all five of these stores open and order one from each of these stores. I decided that that's probably not in the, not in the cooperative spirit of the raspberry Pi community, but Oh boy, did I want to 10 bucks go to raspberry pie.org for more information. That also has lists of uh, the stores that have it again. Uh, you'll today, if you want one, you will be happily joining a bunch of mailing lists of, of, uh, of stores that will email you when this becomes available. Uh, but it will probably be a month or so before it's easy to get one. Yeah. But good news is they, they've gotten pretty good at uh, cranking up production over time. And so, yeah, uh, yeah, this is, that's a $10 raspberry pie. This is the zero, but this is the zero with a zero w, w with Wi-Fi yeah. and Bluetooth. Uh, and so the zero, which was five bucks, 10 bucks, 10 bucks. For a, really a full fledged PC, it's, full fledged full fledged desktop computer. The, the the Raspberry Pi three, like the, the the big one that costs all of thirty five dollars, and oh my god, it's the size of a pack of cigarettes if you can believe such a thing. That one's big enough that you can really basically do anything with it. You could do with your phone. It, it can run a media server. Uh, it can uh, play like HD video onto onto a big screen. This is somewhat more limited. It will do. Running, doing word processing, running decent web pages, it'll do that. Maybe it's not as good for again playing HD video uh, on a hotel uh, hotel TV. Uh, but ten bucks, that means you buy it, you play with it, and then you find out everything you can do with it because you have a great brain and great creativity. And there is a type of technology and a type of computer that only you can conceive and only you can build. And for ten bucks, you can build it yourself. Uh, and I want to thank Father Robert, who I guess uh, knows somebody at, <laughs> at Raspberry <laughs> Pi, because this is his Raspberry Pi uh, Zero W. Uh, but I'm sure that means that we'll be seeing some projects based on on uh, know-how in the near future.